It's the start of the evening rush hour in one of South London's busiest streets. Traffic at a standstill as a cyclist draws up alongside one of the stationary cars. The driver appears to panic, almost hitting the bike before colliding with an oncoming vehicle. What happens next is deeply disturbing. The cyclist attacks the car with a foot-long knife. Thankfully, the doors are locked from the inside. But when his windows start to shatter and he sees more youths approaching, the driver decides to escape on foot. It all happened in broad daylight in front of dozens of startled people. It's very scary, very horrendous. Uh, I've got two kids. Right? Sometimes after school hours, they come to help their dad here, me. And now when you, this such, such thing happens, it's quite very, 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 very scary. You know? The weapon used here is known as a zombie knife. It has a long serrated blade and is increasingly popular on Britain's inner city streets. What's not clear is whether what happened here was an extreme incident of road rage or a case of two young men recognising each other with one of them desperate to get away. Either way, it spectacularly illustrates the curse of knife crime in our cities. A recent ITV News investigation into gangs and knife crime identified the use of weapons like these. The Metropolitan Police are now looking for this man. Paul Davis, ITV News, Croydon.